please welcome Dita Tsetsche, Chairman of the Board of Management of Daimler AG and Head of Mercedes-Benz Cars. Good evening, everyone. I'm glad you've joined us here in Sweden. We are certainly very happy to be here. And that's not just because we have a guy from Sweden on our board. Thanks for hosting us in your home country, though, Ola. And it's also not because we have, well, a special relationship with Sweden's national animal. <laughs> in fact, there are three strong reasons why we believe Sweden and the very first member of our EQ family of all electric Mercedes cars are a perfect match. The car in this country have a lot in common when it comes to design, sustainability, and innovation. Since you've had already had a full day of workshops and detailed information, we'll just quickly highlight these three topics to point out my key EQC takeaways. No doubt, Sweden is a beautiful country, and Swedes know how to create beautiful things. Just have a look around this building. And thanks to the creators of this place for having us. Welcome, Lilmore and Björn. <laughs> Swedish architecture generally is all about a clean and clear appearance on the outside and lots of warm and natural materials on the inside. And I believe the long Swedish winters also are one reason why Scandinavia today is world famous for its design language. When it's that harsh on the outside, you want to make it extra nice and cozy on the inside. Some typically Scandinavian design principles can be found in the EQC too. The exterior, for instance, is all about less complexity and less frills. Reduction to the essentials results in a sleek and minimalist design on the outside. Key feature, the signature black panel, grille is a new look for a new era. It will appear as a uniquely clean and clear face in your rear mirror. And you'll see it long before you ever hear it. For the interior design, however, we made sure to use a lot of high quality natural materials. The new Mercedes luxury interior wraps around strong geometric patterns. I believe we'll feel a bit like entering a modern Scandinavian home. Plenty of light, friendly colors, and new open pore woods. And yes, Gordon Wagner insisted on adding some flashy rosé gold for some extra coziness too. All of this makes the EQC a very beautiful car. But with an electric Mercedes, design is a lot more than what meets the eye. It also has to be highly functional under all conditions. That's why we went to southern Spain for testing at 40 degrees Celsius and higher. And what may even be a bit more exciting in this case, we also did extensive EQC winter testing far up north in Swedish Lapland. Up there, the EQC excelled in some of the harshest conditions one can think of for an electric car. Temperatures around minus 35 degrees Celsius. Swedes who are born and raised in long, dark and hard winters know if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. And an electric Mercedes has to combine awesome looks with amazing usability to make it a viable everyday replacement option for a vehicle with a combustion engine. What counts is the best overall package available in the market. For that package, design and functionality are lasting factors. And when it comes to purchase decisions, sustainability also is clearly on the rise. That brings me to the second point on the list, which is especially important here. In Sweden, sustainability is a heartfelt desire of the entire society. As a tradition, Swedish governments also strategically support and incentivize this movement toward an environmentally friendly economy and lifestyle. As a result, a recent ranking shows that Sweden is the one country in Europe 
that comes closest to achieving the goals for the Paris Agreement on fighting climate change. Even if there's still a way to go for all of us. It also comes as no surprise that Sweden has a high share of renewables in its energy mix. Stockholm, for example, was the first city ever to win the EU Commission's Green Capital Award. The goal of becoming a green and sustainable society is tackled in Sweden through a combination of initiatives including urban farming, central district heating, passive housing and high subsidies on electric and emission-free mobility. It's always a mix of different measures that add up to the complete story. Daimler also offers a variety of options to support cities and communities in reducing emissions generated by local traffic. In fact, I believe no other auto manufacturer is in a better position across all means of transport than we are. We are electrifying all of our transporters to ensure zero emissions over last mile delivery. We'll have more transporters news coming early next week. On top, we are field testing all electric trucks for long haul logistics with various partners. And with the EC Taro, we are going to bring the world's most successful city bus as a zero emission model to communities later this year. Of course, we also care a lot about individual traffic in cities. We've offered our smart electric drive as a sustainable option since 2007. In case you don't personally want to own one, you can always share a smart through Car2Go, currently available in 25 cities around the world. Across all categories and dimensions, we keep gathering experience in sustainable mobility and we keep pushing its development which we didn't just start yesterday. We launched the concept of an electric van way back in 1972. For the locals, that was the year ABBA first hit the music scene. Unfortunately, electric mobility didn't have that super trooper meteoric rise the Swedish pop group did later in the 70s. The times and technology just weren't right. Or maybe people were too distracted by the crazy and some might even say weird fashion trends back then. It feels like sometimes you need to invest early and have the patience to harvest later. Take Sweden as an example again. Visionary politicians granted tax cuts on computer purchases back in the 1990s. They also fostered deregulation of certain tech industries and increased spending on fast internet. That early investment helped the nation open up to tech and innovation. Today, nine out of 10 Swedes are using the internet on a very regular basis. That's one of the highest adoption rates on the planet. Likewise, we started investing early in electric mobility and we believe the times and technology are now ready for the very first all electric SUV from Mercedes-Benz. To make this a success story, it takes more than exchanging engines and drivetrains. That's why hardware and software are now able to cooperate in a smart way to enhance the everyday experience. One example, the system optimizes energy efficiency by taking into account navigation data, traffic signs and other information collected by the car sensors. Beyond hardware and software, Next level electric mobility also implies useful services. In our case, this includes easy search, charging and payment all out of one hand. With one single Mercedes me sign on. Because the best link between sustainability and success is convenience. You can just leave your EQC and say something like, Hey Mercedes, please have my car ready for 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Okay. I will have the car charged by 8 a.m. We consider the right package for every day electric mobility a holistic task. Which takes me to my third topic, innovation. Sweden has quietly developed into Europe's innovation superpower. The country has been ranked second among the world's most innovative countries in 2018, outpaced only by South Korea. Sweden is big in tech, with companies like Spotify or SoundCloud founded here. 
Stockholm is second only to Silicon Valley when it comes to the number of unicorns per capita, private companies valued at more than 1 billion US dollars within 10 years after their start. And it is a relatively small capital with less than 1 million inner city residents in which the most common job is programmer. That's one more reason for us to bring our second Me Convention event to Stockholm. It starts tonight and will host 100 plus speakers from all walks of life and tech. And it's yet another reason for us to launch our latest and most innovative vehicle here in Sweden. After all, innovation was the initial starting point of our company more than 130 years ago. Otherwise, people might still be riding horses or traveling on reindeer sleighs to get from A to B. With the EQC, our intention wasn't to merely build an electric SUV. We intended this to be a new generation Mercedes. Simple as that. Ambitious as that. Because for a new car to earn the Mercedes down the grill, certain conditions apply. You've heard all the details in your workshops earlier today. So let me just say this much for now. We believe the EQC is the complete package. It brings together design, usability, services and convenience in a new and unique way. It's everyday electric mobility wrapped in a very special bundle. And of course, it also delivers on all of our key brand values. One core Mercedes value is safety at the highest level in the industry. For instance, we used the structure of steel pipes to recreate the front impact zone similar to combustion engine vehicles. As a result, the EQC is as safe as any Mercedes. Another one is comfort. Not much out there can match the smooth and relaxing experience of driving a Mercedes. And the new EQC will in particular treat its passengers with S-class worthy silence. A third Mercedes value is convenience. A Mercedes traditionally takes many tasks off its passengers' plates. And so will the EQC. All that put together is what makes the EQC not only 100% electric, but most of all 100% Mercedes. So let's now witness the dawn of a new era for our company. This is the new Mercedes-Benz EQC.
Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the Mercedes-Benz EQC. It's safe, silent, and smooth. Most of all, it's a true Mercedes. Ola told me there's a unique expression in Swedish, logom. Logom in the old days was when large families sat around a table having food and drinks. And if everyone got a similar amount, that's orgum. The ideal balance, not too little, not too much. Just right, enough for everyone. Now, just enough is certainly not enough for Mercedes, but I like the idea of the perfect amount or the perfect package. And that is the EQC, superior design, tremendous functionality, outstanding safety, comfort, unparalleled, convenience. It's the Mercedes of electric vehicles. And now, please have a closer look and enjoy the rest of this evening. Thank you very much. Det är mindre viktigt. Ja, jag har alltså det är viktigt. 